I want to know today if my ex-girlfriend's son is mine. My ex-girl Diamond did so much stuff to me in the past that made me have doubts. When it came down to cheating, when it came down to stealing my money, even while I'm at work, she's going off kicking in with other guys. If this is really my son, she made me miss his birth. And that hurts me so much because I would want a beer for my son. I want to let Diamond know I love her. And I'm on this show today so we can be able to work on us and become a family. It just all depends on the results of this test. And that's why I'm here today. I told him three weeks before um, the scheduled date, which hospital, what time, my doctor, and the room. And I gave him the hospital number. When he came to the birth, um, the woman was asking me for the information to put it on my son's birth certificate. I was giving her my information that she asked, was the father going to put his name on it? I told her yes because we had conversations before and I asked you, are you gonna put your name on the birth certificate? Are you going because we always argue and then he would say some dumb, you know, something dumb I'm like that. Right. right. So I'm asking you and then you saying yes. I asked him this numerous of times. Did your mom influence you not to sign the birth certificate? I listened, uh, she didn't influence me, I just did, did it because I wanted to know for a fact. Did she tell you not to? My mom and my told me not to. My okay. son so flew my to be oh, yeah. here to see his first child born. This okay. is our son. Okay. Our son. Michael, you are the father. You made mistakes. But what I would say right now, be civil, exactly. be responsible, and your first priority should be the kid. Exactly, I agree. It's Can been you... nearly 11 years since we taped that show, and those years have been kind to Mike. He's now a social media influencer with over 2 million followers. And when his mother, Sharon, posted a video of him moving her stuff out of his home, it broke the internet. I was here because my son wanted to do a DNA test on his son. After the show, um, he was able to gain custody. Everything's been great ever since. Well, up until recently, um, he and I have had some issues, unfortunately. You know, we've always maintained a great relationship, but recently he did um, get involved with a particular woman that he's only been dating for six months. Let me make that clear, six months. My son and her got into a big fallout and my son came to me and he asked me to basically find somewhere else to go that he needed the space for his girlfriend. So the morning after following my mother's burial, he started collecting my items and putting it in the car. He basically just started taking my bed apart, um, started packing my clothes. Well, I take out my phone and I started recording him. My own son kicking me to his damn house. Why? Because he got a new family on the way and that individual has two kids and he needs his space. So now he want to kick his own mama out the house after everything I just been through. The son that I gave birth to, gave life, wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. And that I raised and want to kick me out of his own damn house. He can't do this. That's all right, I'll be calling the police so he can know that what he doing is wrong. You can't, you can't illegally just put nobody out your house. And the fact that I'm his mama makes it 10 times even worse. Who does this to their own damn mama? I posted it on social media because I have 350,000 followers. Um, and I just wanted to let people know that this is not how you treat your mother. It's, um, it's just unfortunate that he allowed his new relationship to come in between his relationship with his mom. And if he wants to pick a six month relationship over the bond and the relationship that we have, and not only that, business wise and everything else, then that's on him. That's his loss in the long run. Uh, I, Mike, glad to see you after uh, more than a decade. Yeah. What is going on? Uh, what's going on is my mama went online to try to embarrass me. She let the whole world know that I, I, I put her out, kicking her out on the streets. I'm like, Ma, why you feel like that when really I'm tr bringing your stuff to a sibling house that's way bigger than this little room that you've been in? It got a balcony and everything, two closets, and all I'm trying to do is be a man and uh, take care of my family. My mama talking about uh, I'm trying to uh, put a girl before her. I left my mom's house when I was 14 years old because she put a man before me. So she she didn't talk about that in the tape. Uh, but I'm talking about it now because that video <laughs> just really, you know what I'm saying, pissed okay. me. 
How have okay. things been since you first appeared on the show? Man, it was rough, man, 11 years ago. Um, the police had to get involved. I ended up uh, trying to show them the DNA test I got from you guys in Connecticut, but it wasn't enough. It, it didn't work out in Wisconsin. They wasn't. They wanted to get accepted. Yeah, it didn't get accepted. Yeah. So basically, my son had to go to CPS, and um, I had to fight to get him out the system. Um, they made me take. Well, why was he in the system? Because nobody can prove. Because the mama went to jail. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And I right. couldn't prove that. Oh, right. that. That's why I was wondering where the right. mom was. Any yeah, mother right. out there, trust me, I know what it's like, man, having to get up, get my kid ready for school, you know, homework, you know, um, doctor's appointments, stuff like that, man. It's tough, but, man, thank God I was able to do it. So basically, that's... man, out of everything I did as far as trying to pursue my career, what took me off was me being real, letting people know what I've been through, being having full custody of not just one, two kids. You get yeah. what I'm saying? And basically, um, the world just accepted it and I blew up from it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now what what happens with your mom two weeks ago? Man, listen, I'ma tell you like this. My mama pissed me off, man. I was so mad because it's like, Mom, why would you do this to me? Where's the Lord? Why you? was your mom living with you anyways? I don't know, man. Maybe because I made it convenient for her. Like I never really asked my mama for rent. Like she just started paying rent like three months ago. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what she got going on. You know, I read in. Does she work? Yeah, she works. She works yeah. a full time job. Right. So I'm just saying, like, you know, she's she's even younger than me. Like, I can't imagine being, you know, in my 50s living with my kids. Yeah, man, that's it's, it's uncomfortable, man. You know what I mean, Tom's? I, I, shh, be quiet. I'm trying to, you know, have sex with my woman, and I can't really have sex the way I want to have sex with her because mama right next door, like, man, it just exactly. too much, man. So I just want to tell you all this, man. I am so hurt right now. This is me in this video. To get on TikTok to see your mama try to embarrass you for the third time. The first time I didn't say nothing, the second time I didn't say nothing, but enough is enough. Like, my mama really mad at me for moving her stuff out, my house, I been told my mama I wanted her to move out. She been living with me since 2016. I'm about to have a whole baby on the way. My little sister just had a baby. So I just felt like because my mama don't have a house, you should just move in with your daughter and help her out. She lived right down the street from me. But instead, she don't understand how I feel me trying to be a real man and want to take care of my family and my baby in one household. She gets mad and said, are oh, you putting your, your family before your own mama? Like, what? I'm about to have a baby. Like, ma, did you get on TikTok to try to embarrass me? Like, I lost all respect for my mama, man. I can't believe that she do this to me. I'm the reason why she even got a TikTok. Did you get a lot of response to that yeah, one? Yeah, I definitely got a lot of response from that. And I had, I had to do that, but it, like I said, that's the third time she tried to embarrass me on TikTok, and I just feel like enough is enough. I got to say something about it. We mama is the queen to every man out there. Let's be real. And listen, yeah, my, my mother's wonderful to me, but, but it, my mother, and you know, my mother's at an age where maybe she does should move in because she's my mom's 82. Right. My mom doesn't want to live with any of her kids. Like, mm. she likes her independence. But everybody's different. Right. Uh, mama got to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, sounds like a song. Uh, keep doing what you have to do for your family. It's time for her to go. I can't believe you really going to hurt me like this. No, I ain't trying to hurt after you. After everything I sacrificed and did for you. Man, Ma, I ain't trying to hear that, Ma. Listen, at the end of the day, you tried to embarrass me in front no, of the whole I world. Didn't try and to sometimes you. I wonder if everything would have went the way you wanted to go, would you feel bad like I feel bad for you right now? Do you would really you? feel bad for yes, me? Yes, I feel bad. Put me out. I never what you mean put to you go out, Ma? I took you out, Ma. You did everything. I didn't put you out. You went, to your, you went to your daughter's house, Ma. What are to, you talking about? You're only using that as a cop out because you know you're wrong. Well, I have a baby on the way. Okay, you've got two other children. Okay, I'm not I got another to stop. baby I, on the way. What you don't understand I is I space, support Ma. you in anything that I you do. I support you, too. I've been there since day one. Why you can't support this? What's since wrong with supporting one, this, Ma? The problem is you asked me to take over the house. Ma, come on, Ma. Stop, Ma. Stop, stop, Ma. We, Ma. Did you come not on. ask me Ma, to take over going, the Ma, house stop. in Ma, case things didn't work out? Ma, I already told you what it was, Ma. No, let's be real. You feel that way. How do you know for sure that's your child? I'm not trying to hear that, Ma. What are you talking about? How do you know for sure that's your child? You if you're going to accuse her of every... still messing with... That's the I reason why... I didn't accuse her of nothing. That's the reason why you two got into it. Ma, you're assuming. That's not what happened. Not because we got into it. 
you put me out to save your relationship that's not, with her. That's not what and happened. And that's not the way you do it. But if not... he's at the stage of his life where, you know, he's fallen in love with a woman, she has two kids, he has two kids, now they have another kid, there's going to be five total kids, isn't it his right to say, hey, mom, I, I don't want anybody else living under mm -hmm. my roof but my, my family that I I'm making. I get that, and I didn't disagree with that. That's what he So what was, your, what was your problem? It was how he went about doing it that mm. I have a problem with. What's, but what's the problem with you just moving down the street with your other daughter? You don't get to dictate where I go and what I do. You don't it, force me. You talk about bullying no, and he's, she, the whole he, well, situation. Listen, I'm not thinking he's bullying and everything, but if it comes how down to... How is it to, not bullying, Steve, when you're... Taking my it's personal not, but, property. But he told you he wanted you to move out, right? Okay, but you don't take it upon yourself to take my belongings Well, if you're not moving out, out, then yeah, then you do. You still should allow me enough time to do what Why I need do to do. Why do you want to live with your son? You can't just legally just kick anybody else okay. out. That's okay, that's not right. Agreed, agreed. Right. You can't just kick people out. And that's where but he But why do you want to live with your son? Who said that I wanted to? It seems Who like you're trying was... everything you do to stay. Only, a, only to allow me time to do what I needed to do. Um, Y'all see my baby? She's so fine. Yeah, that's my pregnant day. Well, you're a big hey, influencer mom. now. Well, you, you're gonna have a good-looking woman. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Deshante, uh, what's your take on this whole situation? I just want them to have a healthy mother-son relationship. And, and do you feel they have that now? No. I, 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 I've been saying since I moved in the house that they need to sit down and talk. Yeah. Now, his mom sent you some texts. I think the big problem with this situation is all families have their issues that they can get over. The biggest problem with this particular situation is social media. Yeah. There well, has to be a, a line drawn, like a disconnect, a line drawn for what's put on social media and what's not. This is something that was minor that they could have sat down and talked about. We all could have sat down and talked about. But because it was put on social media, it was blown up out of proportion. I love Sharon like she's my mom. I would never come on here and disrespect her, anything like that. I would never disrespect her. At the end of the day, I'm having her grandchild. It's her grandchild. I have no problem with taking a DNA test right. um, when the child is born. But um, I, don't, I would never want them to grow up and see me disrespecting their grandmother. Yeah. I love her. I want her to be at the gender reveal. I came in the house, I cooked, I cleaned, I made sure that me being pregnant, I took a plate, fixed plate up to her every time I cooked. Yeah. Every time I cooked. I let her know what I cooked, I left it out for her. I mean, I love her. I just want them to be able to sit down and have a, a healthy relationship. This yeah. is ridiculous. And for all our business to be out in the open like this, I, I come from a family that's very private. And what really kind of teed me off was the fact that it got put on social media and because I love her like I love my mom, to read those comments and to see people disrespect her like that. But that's what happens when you open yourself up to the public. And people are going to be negative on you, whether you're the greatest dude that ever walked the earth. But, so I don't read that crap. <laughs> I think we should all take responsibility for how we made each other feel. Absolutely. Even though you feel like you're not wrong, you should start off like, well, Mom, I apologize. Well, she right. That's my bad. You feel some type of way. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. Well, y'all well, gotta, let me say this, stop Ma, trying to I put the blame on each other. if I made you feel some type of way. I love you. I care about you. Can, can we get a hug or something? You got man, me on I'm TV crying. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a man, take care of my family. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm working hard with my career. I'm blowing up. If I get a stupid big house, you can come move in with me. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I, I don't mind you. her staying with us. It wasn't uh -huh. ever like a, a conversation where, where I told him, like, oh, she got to go or anything like that. That was never, never a conversation. There was no hidden agenda or anything like that. I never minded his mom staying okay. with us. It's just okay. space. So are we going to make it good? Try to make it work. Come, yeah. Try, come on, mom. Let's make it work. Make That's it your work. son. He loves you. Of course. You yeah. know, I love him. I just don't him. want no I fake stuff. I don't so want it, you know, after the show. But you got to let it go. You got to let all this stuff that That's bad happens just to, let it come go. Come on, mom. Let it go, Everybody mom. makes mistakes and you move forward. You right? can't let it go, mom. You know, it's a feeling that's just, I'm sorry. 
I'm grieving. I'm going through a lot right now. It's a lot. It's a lot. I can't make any promises, but I will work towards it. Yeah, I think that's you all will. I can do. And you know what? Maybe uh, a night out at the club, future drinks, and you get back to the club. I'm my baby shower. Very nice to see you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too. Do you want to tell your story on The Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.